getting Yoshi. Uh, this is a insanely lopsided matchup. Uh, in Cloud's favor, rather. Not quite sure how how much experience Big D has with Yoshi, but due to Yoshi being just a different character overall, just like a funky recovery and stuff. So we're gonna have to see how Big D opposite like play this matchup. Though we'll want to see how Sandman. Although it's a great matchup for Cloud, uh, and there are. There is a strong Yoshi in our region being Firefly. I don't know how much Sandman knows about this matchup. Like, he has recently beaten Firefly, I think last Sunday. So. But Big D's definitely not giving it to him free. As free as I've made the match out to look. Or to sound. Sandman doing a great job at keeping him at the ledge. Limit Cross Dash, not gonna take it out, but. Racks on the damage that he really wants. I feel like Big D uh, hasn't really had a chance to get too many like strong hits. Uh, but when he goes for something risky, he gets punished. Unfortunate. Okay, Sandman. Although he's at 111%, I'm not sure what true kill confirms Yoshi has for the most part. So I can definitely see Sandman. Just extending his lead with using the platform with upper chains, you know. Let's just see how he plays it out. Definitely. Okay, okay. Big D looking for the, the air dodge read with F dope. Sandman. Er. Not being in the right position. Sandman using the platform to the best of his ability. Knowing Yoshi doesn't have the best way to go out there, using his poor double jump. Double jumping to get out positions, or unsafe positions, is a great option due to the armor. But if Sandman reads it, it can just like put you in a horrible position. Because you can just get juggled with absolutely no way to get out. Apart from my dog, obviously. Okay, Big D at a quite a major deficit actually. We're gonna have to see how how he opts to bring this one back. He's, he started approaching Sandman while he's out there on the platform. Not the safest option, but a great reward if he threw an edge guard, if he can manage to uh, snake him out there. Okay, both the players playing neutral pretty well. Big D's just had a good grasp on what Sandman uh, is choosing to go for in the neutral position and definitely capitalizing off of it. Sadly, Yoshi doesn't quite have the the tools to get too much off of any one read. No jump in a horrible position. Smart, not air dodging. That's definitely what Sandman was looking for. Just fast falling to the ledge. And Big D slowly but surely crawling his way back out of this. F tilt taking it. 1-0 for Sandman. I could I could see Big D switching up going to his main. Just cause he did it against focus. To give him the confidence and the winners, he chose to uh, stick it out to random. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it didn't quite work out in winners. Okay, going for the Falcon. Not quite the Mario, but Cloud Mario is definitely not a good matchup. So, let's see. Big D's Falcon versus Sandman's Cloud. Same stage. Definitely thought Sandman didn't get too much off the stage, I guess. Sandman's been utilizing the platform very well so far this the set and the tournament. Just like being a safe place to like charge your limit and just get away. It makes sense that he's utilizing the way he is. Okay. Sandman just playing a patient. Big D getting these hits that he really wants. Ooh, a little bit too low of a percent actually. Due to uh, limits weight buff. To hit the knee. Ooh, high recovery, smart by Sandman. That is unsafe, no rec no punish, but getting the roll read in. So let's see how Big D plans on extending this lead. Because although I believe Cloud wins this matchup, Sandman definitely hasn't been showing 
showing it why so far. Like, not quite keeping him, keeping him out or getting the juggles. Partly because of Sage, I guess. Can't get the juggles as much as you want. Just as I say that, gets the downer. And not looking too bad, actually. Okay, Sandman definitely too low of a percent for upper to knee. These are the juggles that I was talking about, where Captain Falcon really struggles. Ooh, Sandman. Great recovery, not using limit. Gonna have to use it there, but unfortunately, probably thought he had a jump or something. Unfortunate. Going a little bit too low and not not upping for up air. Or up beat. Actually, using the up air. Okay, going into game three. We could see Big D switch back to random like he did against. He did against Santa. Or against Focus. But no, sticking out. What in, okay, they struck to Town City. Good stage for Sandman. He definitely feels comfortable here for the most part. So, if he can get this win, he's looking looking at a good position to like, take the set and the tournament. Big D's definitely not just gonna give it to him. Gonna try and utilize the uh, utilize the edge guarding potential that Big D has, or Falcon has rather. And he's definitely looking for these these knee setups because. Even if it doesn't kill, it puts it puts Lomac in a horrible position to recover. One thing to note about uh, Falcon, uh, about this matchup rather, Falcon is a fast faller, so these tail punch setups will definitely work at a much later percent. Getting the air dodge read and taking Sandman. Out. Sandman, definitely. One thing he really wants is is the down smashes at the ledge. That's where he gets the kills for the most part. Okay. Great juggle by Big D. This almost feels like a reverse of the last matchup where Big D's going for the going for the juggles. But getting two downers to steal, steal this game with the dude sock. I wonder where uh where Sandman is gonna opt to take it, because like not too many stages benefit low max for this part. Okay, yeah, switching back to Cloud. Probably taking it to yeah, Lila or Chop Lads as well, I was expecting. Okay. Uh, Big D obviously sticking it to Falcon. This is a stage that, although it really benefits set, uh, Cloud, rather, I feel like if. Big D can DI to avoid the up air juggles stuff. He won't heal do just fine, I feel like. Also the downer spikes. He's been looking for it so far. Got two against the Lomac now, just keeps going for it. Well, then then. And I mean that's just what you have to do in these matchup first characters with poor recoveries. Sandman letting him back to Sage. Offering to reset back to neutral. That's definitely a uh, where the Sandman excels in the neutral with his power. Taking that first stop without too much percent for that. Having limit actually could actually be a hindrance due to the weight buff, allowing juggles to happen way easier. And these combos are happening way later. Great recovery once again by Sandman, not having to use limit. I feel like that's. That's really good. Like. It's what he kind of needs. He needs to keep limit for like when he really needs it. Big D's backer is stealing out. Okay, Big D trying to extend these low percent combos as much as he can using the platforms. Kind of do what Sandman wants to do with these upper juggles. Go for it and air off the side. Not gonna kill. Big D hitting the tech, but not the second one. Great awareness by Sandman going for the double. Now, we're looking at a game five. Seems like. So. I'm assuming sticking to their characters. Because. Neither, neither player played too poorly in that matchup, it seems like. And Mario is definitely not, a, not an option in this matchup. Upping for, uh, for Battlefield. Definitely, Big D 
it must just be confidence, because this is must be up there with Sandman's or Cloud rather, it's best sage. Who <laughs> going for the down tilt, trying to get the early kill? That's really what Big B's looking for. Sandman not playing the neutral as oppressive as Cloud can in this matchup. I feel like he's not throwing out his enough hitboxes for him. Getting falling off her to me, killing Sandman at such a low percent. Great awareness by Big D. Although he's been dropping it a few times so far, he's going for it when he, when he needs to go for it. Okay, so Big D is just getting these upper chains. Uh, I'd like to see Sandman start going for, for more hitboxes like that. Not gonna bounce off the stage, just launch it in to the other side. Ooh, dropping the edge guard. That's rough. Big D's in a good position this game, being up two stocks to one and having 50% on the board. Great recovery by Sandman, throwing out the hitbox to just put himself back on stage, hitting Big D. So Big D's just been kept throwing him off stage, which is really what you need to do in this matchup, as I've been saying. He's just not getting the the options off stage. Great DI mix up, not actually hitting the backer, which is unfortunate, but But regardless, let's see how let's see how Big D plans on taking the stock. Or if Sandman can utilize limit as he wants. Cause as much as Big D just puts Sandman off stage, if he's never getting the kill, it doesn't really amount to much. Gets a spot dodger, not executing, unfortunately. Oh, missing the down tilt. That would have closed it out for sure. Big D's just been been all over Sandman so far. Not giving him time to breathe. Taking the set 3-2. Looks like a bracket reset, everybody. Okay. Uh, resetting back to 0-0. Zero, zero. This time, next player to take the set wins. Okay, okay, going back to random. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there. Okay, they're gonna do some stage striking. Okay. A little bit of a steady cam here. Got a little close-up, a beauty shot of <laughs> each player. <laughs> looks like they're, looks like they're going to battlefield. Definitely a stage of benefits cloud, but ooh, actually not the best stage for the Zelda. Do the Zelda really needing the lower blast zones from like Town and City or Lilac, for example, to like take out soccer. Really. So, Sandman, this is a matchup that's absolutely in Cloud's favor. Just purely because of the the pressure he can put on with his huge hitboxes and the, the non-existent range of Zelda not being able to get herself in. I feel like Big D's going to be approaching mostly with Short Hop, Nair, and Shield. Just definitely... Sandman should be able to capitalize on it. Landing with backer, kind of a good trade for Sandman. But resetting both back to neutral. Sandman playing the platforms, kind of where he needs to in this matchup. Or, I mean, he can play wherever he wants. This, so far Sandman's been doing a great job of just keeping him, keeping Big D off stage. But also, He's never giving up the ad advantageous position that he's put himself in. So even though he's letting it Big D back to Hex Age, it's almost worth it just because he gets a limit charge and will most likely win the next neutral charge. Sandman at 48% on his first stock. Big D percent rising quickly on his second. 
He's definitely going to need to hit Sandman a little bit more. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know, I make it sound easy. Obviously, it's not against a character with such an oppressive neutral. But, like, running in with a defensive option just doesn't net you the, the percent that you need, especially when Sandman is really Ooh, drag down Nair into a B. Putting on the damage. Just like I'm saying, kind of like what he needs. Now, down throw will start leading into some. some Killing options depending on the DI. For example, down throw back air. Oh, down throw up air. Great air dodge by Sandman. And punishing with the up B. Evening out the socks, but Sandman's in a great percentage lead. Okay. So, what I'm seeing so far is Big D's been doing a better job of getting the getting the hits since he lost his first sock, but still, I feel like Zelda just really, it hurts Zelda from having just not the best ways to approach, not, not the biggest hitboxes, and also having no good, like this stage definitely benefits Cloud way more, so we're gonna have to see how big he plans on plans on evening this back up if he even is able to and I'll be taking it out. Game one going to Sandman. Big D is almost certainly going to switch to Falcon. Res much respect to him if he stays random, but like, not the best option for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see how Big D, uh, obviously, yep, switching to Falcon. Probably going to take it somewhere like Lilat, maybe Snatchel, okay. This stage, although Sandman's been playing really well on this stage with uh, platform camping, it definitely benefits Falcon in the sense that Falcon's looking for kills off the side for the most part. Having the platform just like put Sandman off stage is where her big D, or Falcon rather, just feels comfortable. Okay, Sandman. Just feeling each other out. Sandman's not quite winning the neutral exchanges as much as he was last game. Do you know Falcon just being a faster character, able to weave in and out of out of positions? Putting him off stage, missing the backer. I feel like Sandman was ready to tech, rather. Getting the air dodgery, putting Sandman back off stage. Feels like this is where. Big D's Falcon has been putting him. Getting the up B to take out the first stock with a very little no percent put on Big D. These Nair planes from Big D, it's definitely one way to just put Sandman across the stage, put him in an off stage position. I feel like Big D's not really going for enough of them, opting for the up air combos, which is not really where you want Cloud. You don't really want Cloud above you, you want him like off stage. But sometimes you, you have no other option. Guess the air dodge read not getting much off of it, just merely a uh, backer putting Sandman back off stage. Opting for a high recovery. Let's see how Big D plans on, plans on finishing out the suck. Because he's definitely had no trouble taking socks. Due to Falcon's great uh, the power pack behind everything. And the down air. Punishing the low recovery by Sandman. Not much else he could do, rather. So, 1-1. One, one. Definitely not, no switches coming out. So, I wonder where Big D is up and go. I'm predicting town, purely because, yeah. And the switch to low back only, only reinforces my prediction. Back to Battlefield. Odd, because he already won on Battlefield, but you know, let's see how his Falcon fares on Battlefield. Because this Sage is not, definitely not in Lomax's favor. He prefers more of the flat Sages. So let's see if Big D opts to like play defensively on the platforms. Definitely haven't been seeing it from him too much this game. Too much in set, rather. So. Sandman not in a poor position by any means. 
trying to get that side beat, not not quite getting the combo. Getting Big D to pull up the shield. Right now, Sandman's looking like he has. He's punishing Big D's options almost every time. Not getting the edge guard, which Nomak is just so good at doing with with down smash and down tilt and stuff. So just letting him back to ledge is kind of silly, rather. Having KO punch, Big D's definitely gonna need to play the more aerial game to avoid it. And uh, just he did. Taking out the first stock with a stomp, like he's been doing so many times in this matchup. I feel like Falcon's upper juggles really just like put Lomac in a horrible position due to Lomac just need to be on stage. So if he can just keep getting these up airs that he has been, I feel like it's, it's gonna look kinda rough for Sandman. Getting the up B, taking out the first stock, not at too much of a disadvantage actually. Ooh, nice up air string. Big D. Just racking up the percent. Let's see if Big D. Ooh, tail punch is online. Sandman's definitely fishing for the down tilts, as he should, because Nomak definitely does not have the waste to take these stocks. Great patient play by Big D, like I was saying, using the platform to his advantage. Because only one straight hit now would knock the KO punch out of him. Sandman, smart by not approaching him. Er, yeah, not much he could do in that position. Fucking great speed and fast aerials. Makes KO Punch kind of uh, like a dream. It's, like, it's not a dream scenario where you hit the KO Punch at 16. Not really. So. Okay. Big D. Oh, just maneuvering around the, the up tilts and down tilts. Going for the stomp there. Not, not quite finished with that. But the backer taking, it, taking out game three. Big D up 2 1. I, I predict the switch back to Cloud. It's been doing. Uh, I bet, depending on where it goes, he's probably gonna go back to uh, back to cloud. Okay. Character switch on same answer. Just staring at the select screen. Okay. okay. Let's see what. Let's see what Big D can get up. Let's see if, how Big D plays this matchup. Because he, although he's been winning it like 90% of the time, when Sandman wins, like, it's definitely, it looks really dominating for Sandman. Not really dominating, but it looks like Sandman just knows what he's doing. And on a stage like Lila, where it extremely benefits Cloud, I, I hope to see Sandman just like play the way, play, what he, play how he wants, and force Big D into four positions. Okay. Racking up the early percent already at 87. Ooh, knocking the limit right out of him. Unfortunate misinput by Sandman. And percents are almost even now at this point. Okay. Let's see how how Sandman, if he off to the edge guards, he hasn't quite been getting it with so much this set. Obviously, due to Big D's great recoveries. Unfortunate high recovery, not much else he could have done. Getting stomped, losing his first side. Not in, not in a poor position at all, though Sandman is. He's like, only like a straight back air will put him in a good position to take his side. Maybe uh, one more upper? Depends where he is on stage. Oh, great delayed recovery by Big D. Not getting hit by the down down. Who kind of kind of just hoping and praying with that that limit blade beam. I'm not quite sure what he thought he because I doubt Big D would ever get hit by that. Now Sandman, yeah, it's looking rough for him. Big D not going random in grand finals and rightfully so. Every game he went random, he lost. So. So GG's to Sandman and Big D.